today and in today's video will be a story time i'm basically gonna be talking about what how something happened in my life how it went down and all that not gonna lie not gonna sugarcoat nothing um sorry to the girl that everything well sorry not sorry basically because she did shit to me and yeah but today's story time will actually be about the time I got bullied and when I first found out that I had gotten epilepsy. So, so without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Basically, this is what happened. I don't know what it was about me. But she always, like this girl, she always had, like, she always just had a problem with me, like, for no reason. Like, I would walk into school and then she would just have a problem. Like, I didn't even do anything to her. She would have a problem. Like, she would find ways to, like... She would find ways to get me in trouble and I feel like, like, I don't even know why she would bully someone, like, bullying isn't cool, you guys, it's not cool at all, like, to all the bullies out there, if you bully someone, you must have problems at home. You must um, have have a hole deep down in your heart. You must, there must be something wrong in your life for you to just bully someone for no reason. Um, and I'm not saying there is a reason to bully anyone because there's not. Um, but yeah. She would bully me every day for no reason. And, like, when she wouldn't bully me, she would come to me, like, we would sit, like, there was this one class that we had together. And she was assigned to sit next to me. And I was like, cool, whatever, I don't care. Because I at the time, we had just, like, gotten in to sixth grade and I didn't really know her like that. So... I'm sitting down next to her, blah, blah, blah. And she told me, she was like, oh, you seem like a nice person. Um, do you want my number? We can talk and may possibly maybe even chill and stuff like that. And I was like, cool, whatever. So she gave me her number. And at first we hit it off. We was cool. Everything was fine. And then the next day I get to school She's, like, asking me all these different questions. She's, like, do you think I'm popular? Da, 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 da. And I'm just, like, yeah, stuff like that. Because, like, in my school, like, the school I went to, you had to be, like, known. So, it was, I don't know. She just wanted to be known, I guess. And so she just started picking on me for no reason. And once I told her that I thought she was popular or whatever, she just, I guess something went off in her little head and was like, oh, I'm popular. So I can pick on her. I can pick on whoever I want. And in middle school, I wasn't the tough person I put put on that I am today. Um, there was this one time in gym, I was supposed to sit out, but I couldn't because the gym teacher was an asshole. Um, but she has sat out and she sat out with one of my friends and, um, she was like picking on me like while we were playing the game and stuff. 
she was just talking mad shit about me. She was like saying stuff like, Kiara, you're so ugly. I hope you lose the game. I hope your team loses, blah, 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 blah. Stuff like that. And I'm just like listening to her. And I'm like, really? Like, Like, I don't even know, like, why do you, like, and then it came to this point where we would fight, like, physically fight, and even, even when she didn't, like, win or anything, she would still come back the next day and have a problem again with me and start shit up with me again, so it's like, i I can't win for those and I can't I can't do shit and then sometimes I would lose just to lose so that way because my mom told me one day she was like well if you guys end up fighting again just lose see what she does so I did what my mom told me I lost she still came back the next day she started all over again and I'm just like I can't win for losing like this is, this is bull, like, I can't, like, and that was when I started getting, that's when I started getting more suicidal thoughts, and I just wanted to end it, I didn't feel like I was worth anything anymore, I was just done, um, and then I started receiving text message threats and stuff. And it kept going until high school. Like, and I don't know if she's going to come back into my life because I changed, I changed all my social media sites. Like, I changed my Instagram. I changed my Facebook. I changed my Snapchat everything because I don't I don't want to go I don't want to have to deal with that problem anymore because I'm grown like I don't have time for it like I'm 19 years old I don't I'm trying to move on with my life I don't need the petty petty stuff in my life anymore I'm too old for this like I'm trying to live my life and be Be a better Kiara than I am today. <laughs> but how did I find out that I had epilepsy? Well, one day I was taking a shower. Well, let me start from the beginning. I was 12 years old. And I woke up one morning, I went to the bathroom to take a shower because it was the morning, um, a school morning, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I was getting ready, like I took a shower, I brushed my teeth, put deodorant on, and all of that jazz. And um, all of a sudden, I couldn't like stand up. I couldn't do anything like my legs kept giving out on me I couldn't I couldn't stand up on my own and then I just kept getting weak and weak and weak and weak and my mom she thought I was playing she was like yeah stop playing stop playing you just stop and I'm like mom I'm not playing with you she was like Oh, you think this is fun to do, blah, 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 blah. And I kept going back and forth with her. Like, I'm really not playing with you. This is, there's something really going on with me. And when I was, when you're young, you, you think that something is funny, but it's not funny. It's serious. It's actually really serious. And at the end of this video, I will probably show a little clip of me having an episode because I don't think some people know what epilepsy is <laughs>
and I don't, cause epilepsy isn't heard about a lot. But my def like, but basically when I found out I was twelve years old, I was still in sixth grade. So all of this was happening. I was in sixth grade. I just, I just left elementary school. Um, starting to um meet new people. I'm um I'm in advanced classes and um and then this new girl comes and she starts bullying me like really? Like what did I do to you? And then on top of that you get diagnosed with epilepsy all in to the same year. Like what? And it was just so hard for me and what well, I just don't know anymore. There will probably be a part two to this video because there's so much to say and I don't wanna make this extra long. It's already like ten minutes. But um my definition of epilepsy is neurological triggers that happen inside of your brain and they click like you know how like you know how like when something goes together like say like these two like go together like this and they hit and then they zap that's basically what happens inside of my brain but I have seizures, like I fall to the ground, I foam at my mouth, and I can't stop until my body tells my body to stop. And that's what people don't understand. They think it's funny, they think it's a joke, and it's not a joke, it's something very serious. Like, it's, it's hurtful because there was one time I had a seizure on um when i was in high school in 11th grade i believe it was and i had a seizure and i was next to the steps and i almost fell but one of my friends like pulled me and um i had a seizure and there was a whole bunch of people around and that's when the girl i was talking about talking about earlier in the video that's when she she was coming out of one of her classes and she like said out loud she was like oh kiara's having a seizure again blah 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 and then everybody came around and then she was like look at her look at how funny this is stuff like that and i was just and my friend she was like so heartbroken and then she told me and then she she had her mom call me. she had her mom call my mom and tell my mom everything it's just it's just the worst feeling ever, like, the worst sickness. I feel like the worst sickness you could ever have is my sickness. But at the same time, cancer is also the worst sickness. But I also read that epilepsy and cancer are in the same category. So it's like, it's hurtful. Like, I don't know. But there will be a part two to this video. But... Until then, like, comment, subscribe, share, tap that um, notification bell, and comment more ideas you have for videos for me, and comment if you're new. I was born a flex, yes. diamonds on my neck, I like boarding jets, I like more than sex, but nothing in this world that I like more than checks. All I really wanna see is the Money. I don't really need a D, I need the Money. All a bad bitch need is the Money.